Oh boy. I think because of all these speed bumps, the bash plate has moved a little bit. I don't think the fork is bent or anything, but yeah, definitely hitting that bash plate with the rubber. We'll stay in touch. Of course, I'll make a good review. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for letting me charge up. 100%, that's very good. Perfect. All right, man. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. Okie dokie. Well, that was lovely again. And yeah, I, I don't worry so much about the wheel hitting the bash plate. Uh, I really think it is because it's all bent now. Because I'm hitting speed bumps like every day. <laughs> and sometimes I really, if I don't see them, sometimes I hit them hard. So I guess that's not so unusual. I adjusted the spring tension here, so it should be all good. Uh, all right, I had a good stay here. That was just a nice Airbnb house. I could charge and it was all included and it's just, just lovely. And you can really see he loves, he loves making his Airbnb. He's like this whole, all right. He has like this whole garden set up for, for parties and events and very, very lovely. Car enthusiasts, motorcycle enthusiasts. Uh, that's just always nice. So today I'm heading off to Muna. I decided not to go to Kochi just yet because I want to go further inland. And I also, okay. I also want to, I'm going to take the longer route through the national parks and reserves. I think that's a good good idea. Will take me a few hours more, but you know, I'm here, I'm here to see things and hopefully I can see some wildlife on the way. And I'm also going to meet my friend Marius probably for the last time because he wants to go to Nepal as quick as possible because his visa also runs out and he's not going to fly anywhere to extend it. His thing is to just always hitchhike everywhere and not taking flights or ferries or whatever. That's just his thing. Same as my thing is to go everywhere with Eve. All right, that's the plan so far. Let's see what the day brings. A letter, anyone? This guy is your man. Good morning, city traffic. What is happening? Okie dokie. Exciting. the road here uh, all these little that's that's no that's no joke all these little stones I could be I could be really bad for my belt actually Ooh. because it's all sticky and stuff okay Ah, you hear, you hear that? That when it comes in the belt. I really don't understand why they not protect this. Like why the belt is like all open. This is just, well, just beyond me how, how you cannot put a, like a <laughs> recover or protection or whatever. Like, 
Uh, wait, can you go here? Yeah, thanks. It's like as if they want the belt to break at some point, really. But yeah, this is also exactly the reason... This is also exactly the reason why I haven't got the belt at the tension that they provide. Because it's just too tight. Fuck. I have to be so careful. I think it's so funny that every little 70 cc or 120, 125 cc bike here has like a fully covered uh, chain drive, like it's all fully covered. So there's no real, you know, maintenance, no stones can come in. And my super expensive, like premium motorcycle doesn't have like the simplest stuff like that, just to prevent things from breaking. It's hilarious, I think. But yeah, I think that's just how... I think that's just how it works, you know? I mean, manufacturers, they always want to keep earning. Na, alles gut. Okay, I fast mal weiter. Tschüss. Ciao. <laughs> that was my mom calling. She has all the tracking stuff for my bike. And uh, she literally watches probably every five minutes uh, if, I, if I'm staying or if I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> Mothers, right? Really, I, I rarely have time uh, to talk to her or to FaceTime. Because, you know, like with, with the traveling and working, oh, you gotta realize like it's either I'm driving or I'm working. So today I'm, I'm quite happy to be riding and it's all good, you know, like I'm, I'm driving through the most beautiful countryside here and so, so. But for example, yesterday I was just literally locked into my room, editing video five, six hours, publishing a video, promoting that video, making short videos to promote that video, you know, for Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, making thumbnails, making titles. It's just, just so much work running a YouTube business like that. You, you have no idea. Uh, so I uh, literally, I don't, I never have time to do anything else, basically. That's just what I do. Unless I'm taking like an extra two or three days off to get life sorted somehow. I didn't even manage to get my cable worked on, you know, to function as an adapter. I didn't manage to do that. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's, it's a busy life, guys. A really busy life. Uh, but yeah, it's... I love what I do, you know, I'm so passionate about the whole video making, it's just... I, I, you know, I just love it so much and especially the editing part of it. I can sit five hours, six hours and don't even think about anything else but this. It's just, it's just what I love doing, you know, it's just... Somewhere I read, uh, like, you know, the all these inspirational quotes, this all this... You know, I read somewhere, uh, find, find it, uh, how is it? Find something that you love doing for free, make it a job, and then you will never work for the rest of your life, something like that. <laughs> so cheesy, but I, it's, it, it kind of is a little bit like that for me and the whole YouTube stuff. Uh, it's the hardest job I've ever done, but I, I really love doing it. What I don't love is, you know, reading some of the comments of the people that watch like 10 seconds of a video and then think they figured it all out and they know me and then have to 
try and lecture me or whatever, you know, or just being stupid. Um, yeah, that is, that's the part I don't like, but yeah, I can't read the good comments without reading the bad comments. So it's either I turn them all off, I just have to deal with this, you know, that's just all part of the job description, I guess. I really need to stop at some point to eat something and I don't even have, I, don't, I didn't even book a hotel yet, so I need to do all this. But I don't really get off the bike. Today is really, really good. I really, really enjoy it today. Despite all the traffic though. Can I have one? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see. Good. Change? No change? Damage. Ah, damage. Yeah, all right. Uh, huh? What CC? What CC? 700 maybe? Maybe? 700? 700. Yeah. The battery. Battery. Battery, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Elect no petrol. No petrol. No petrol. Bat no petrol. Battery, battery yeah. Electric. Tasty. Tasty. Tamil Nadu food. Yeah, very good, yeah. Very good. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. This is now moving the water. All right. Goodbye. Okie dokie. Yeah, stopping somewhere is always... It's always quite the adventure too. <laughs> but that was very yummy. I don't really got what the name was of that little treat. But it was savory and uh, it was very good. I'm now already in this wildlife park and there's yeah well I'll just I'll just I'll just get into a wildlife park now a, a tiger park so that's gonna be interesting hello Uh, vehicle, um, B, B, hold on, P, B, <laughs> yeah, it's easier when you see it. Muna. 20 rupees. Hmm? 20 rupees? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah. Are you from Berlin? Yeah. Bye bye. Yes. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Suzuki? Huh? Suzuki. No, it's called. Uh, it's uh, it's electric. Yeah. Good All right. Paper. Have a good journey. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. That was a uh, twenty rupee for the wildlife tiger resort. Well, fingers crossed, I actually see a tiger, right? Or maybe I shouldn't want to see a tiger? I don't know. Am I faster than a tiger? Probably. Look at the elephants! Oh, it's so cool. That's just brilliant. Look, there's uh, elephants over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cool, really. Can't believe I, I see the elephants again. They're all right over there. So awesome. Check it out. And the little one. It's just so cool.
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a, a dirty time zoom. No, there's actually there's a whole group. There's a whole group like like at least five or six. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, right? So good. So you are clever. Yeah, I saw them right away. Hello? Hi. Hi Markus. Hello. Where come you here? Hannover. Hannover. Okay, cool. Oh, so awesome. I told you it would be worth it to go the long way. Uh, if I never see a tiger, I'm like probably the happiest person uh, in the world right now. Oh, so good. It's always so magical to see elephants. I don't know why. I don't know my obsession with elephants, but it's just so magical. I hope I can see one up close at some point. That would be so cool. I don't know if it even comes across, but... <laughs> but this whole area has some serious Jurassic Park vibes. I mean, look at that. It's just... I'm actually... I just read a sign I'm not supposed to stop here. And I'm 100% not supposed to fly my drone here. I mean, that's just common sense, you know, in a national park or wildlife area. You don't put out your drone. Wow, this is just incredible. Just, just super unreal, super unreal. Ooh. Well, thank you to all the people that told me you have to come to the south, you have to come to Kerala. Wow. Huh? Number? Yeah, um, coming from Germany, we don't have that in Germany. I travel from Germany to India, we don't have that. All right, have a good day. The next change sanctuary here. Okay. Oh, I'm just loving this right now. Just, just enjoying myself so much. Oh, oh pretty. Now that's a waterfall. Wow. Mark. Mark. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Kaja Maidin. Kaja? Maidin. Maidin. Kaja Maidin? Yeah. Hey, do you mind turning off the bike? The motorcycle? Yeah. Can you turn it off? Uh, yeah, because then I can film it. Because, oh, okay, 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 okay. because uh, of the... No, no, no. Thank you, man. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's no problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's an electric one. That's electric, yeah. That's, that's no sound. <laughs> but when I film it, I can hear a little bit the waterfall. Yeah, sure, you can look. Ah, now we can hear the water. Zooming with it, Cover again. Not bad, right? Very good. Hello, man. Hello, man. Hello, man. My All right. <laughs> That's a cool bike, man. Okay, man. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> Bye. I really do love the sound, but when you're here in the jungle, I mean, you didn't want to listen to a, <laughs> to a Royal Enfield <laughs> when there's so much nature. With that waterfall. That waterfall. 
Oh man, that's just absolutely nice. The only pickle I have now is that there's no Wi-Fi or like no phone reception and I can't book my Airbnb. So I have to hurry a little bit. I mean, it's only an hour to Muna, but if it's gonna be too late then they might all booked out. <laughs> so good. Oh, guys. Look at that. Gee. Wow. What's going on? That's so incredible here. Hey. Can't overtake it like that. Wow, that was fuck. That was that was cow poo again. I hate when that happens. This camera all good, yeah. Fucking cow poo. Ah, oh, what a pothole. That is a fun road. <laughs> and now the camera is empty. I just drove past the tea factory, it smells so good, and uh, this probably explains what all this is here. All these plants here along the... That is probably tea, must be like green tea or something like that. Yeah, must be green tea. Probably. This area. And it's just outstanding. It's just it's just like unreal. Seriously? <laughs> I know I, I use that word a little bit too much probably, but <sighs> incredible. Yeah, must be tea. Ah, oh, in the road. Did I tell you about the road already? Look at it. But there's the occasional bus. <laughs> so... Gotta be careful, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Far out. <laughs> this is. I mean, I haven't had an internet connection for like three hours, which is fine. But I also don't have a. 
have somewhere to stay tonight yet. Oh boy. This is so good. And yeah, battery is also 16%. It's way less now than I anticipated. Still have 15 kilometers to go. It's just going up, 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 up. It's getting cold, it's 20 degrees now, oi. Oh, that's some turns here. Oh. <laughs> well, on the weekend there got to be a lot of bikers here. That must be. And all the bikers on YouTube, they tell me, oh. and all the bikers on the YouTube comments, they tell me to go up north. But is it, is it, is it the same? Is it even cooler up north then? This is awesome! Oh, thank the Lord of oh, internet. <laughs> I'm five minutes from Munar, but I, just, I have to figure out somewhere where I can stay. I'm such a millennial, you know, I, I can't do anything without the internet. No! No! Okay, just got off the phone with Marius. And he is, he was here. But he's going further down now to a hostel, I think, or something. And uh, and yeah, even though I found a nice Airbnb here, I just want to hang out with him a little bit. Uh, so I'll go further down, like 10 kilometers more. I mean, this is supposed to be all beautiful here, the area. So it doesn't really matter, I guess, where you go. And I also, I looked at booking, I found a cottage just now there, like right where Marius sent me his location. So yeah, I'll just, I'm just so, I'm just not having a plan at all, never. It's just ridiculous. I guess normal people would just freak out the way I, I travel and I, all right. That was pointless, mate. Uh, yeah, but he, Marius has to walk uh, a little bit, so I'll just pick him up from the street. Maybe we can somehow arrange that I can take him. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see if I can find him. This is just, just, just fucking beautiful. <laughs> Don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> it's just beautiful here. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, the first location or the hostel? The, the hostel location. Okay, wait, I, I get out. Uh. It's on the hostel. Okay. Just don't know where it is. Is that like a small road? Is it that one? Hey. All right, man, dude. Here it is, or what? All right. No, but there's a cottage. I see you, man. I miss you. I miss you, man. Yeah, it is weird, man. What's with your What's with your foot, man? Shit. Yeah.
Huh? Yeah, <laughs> bargain. <laughs> He's always about bargain. Okay, there, there's the cottage. Uh, I'll just check in here now. It's cool. Man, it's so secluded. It's really peaceful. Drizzly Valley Cottage. I don't know if somebody's here. Yeah, it's already turned on. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yes, the nose on. I need really so good. I was just uh, 1200 rupee, which is a killer price. Really good, and the house is so lovely, so nice. So, also, a motorcycle fan. He has a bike outside there. I might show you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hang out with Marius now, hang up a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.